It has never been easier to learn at CPR, and now that summer is here, there's really no better time to do it during the year than this. Mike Balta and Derek Chapin of CPR to You are joining us to explain. Guys, thank you so much for being here today. Glad thank you. You've brought along a couple, uh, would you call them dummies? Or mannequins. Is it mannequins. 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 Okay. mannequins. We won't call them dummies. So Derek, <laughs> I want to start with you. Why sure. is it that people should be interested in learning CPR? So everyone should take CPR, first of all. Um, a lot of people believe it's just for medical, uh, you know, individuals only but anyone can learn CPR it's very easy and we can save tons and tons of lives every year just by learning CPR it is so important and I have to admit that I've never taken it before and I thought I would do mm -hmm. this as soon as I had a child and of course mm -hmm. life gets in the way especially sure. when you have an right. infant so I want you guys to do a demonstration of course for us in just a minute but let's talk about the course how long is the course um, the course uh, the, the CP course, CPR course is three hours Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, we go over adult, child, and infant CPR, and uh, go over the AED, mm -hmm. the automated external defibrillator. That's what shocks the person, um, and then um, we go over choking. Okay, and so it's uh, it's about a three-hour course. And it should be noted too that, as we were saying during the break, that it's changed a lot during the years. Right, compression-only CPR is sort of the focus now. Yeah, so the American Heart Association has done research showing that uh, the patient is still getting enough oxygen if mm -hmm. you're doing chest compressions only. So in a lot of cases, just for the safety of the person performing CPR, yeah. they suggest that you do uh, chest compression only going forward. Less risk of, mm -hmm. you know, passing yeah. your contract. Yeah, bodily fluids yeah. and all kinds of things, Correct. exactly. Correct. So what are the steps? Where do we start? Okay, well, for, um, for hands-only CPR, first and foremost, call 911, mm -hmm. okay? Get 911 coming. And then what we need to do is uh, find the center of the chest mm -hmm. of, of the uh, of the uh, of the person you're doing CPR on, and compress hard and fast um, at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then of um, a depth about two inches. Okay. Okay. So basically, you just <coughs> find the center of the chest. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you find the center of the chest, and you go ahead and. Do your compressions. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, do you keep your arms bent like that? No, arms straight. Okay. Arms straight, elbows locked. Got it. Okay. Yeah, and then you're compress. In a difficult position yeah. right now yeah. because this is higher up. Right. But right. So you keep your arms Arm locked and you put your hands intertwined Correct. like this. Yep. Correct. Mm -hmm. Like this on the on the patient. Okay. Arms straight, elbows locked, and you compress down at 100 to 120 beats per minute. Mm -hmm. Is it still the beat for staying alive? Absolutely. It is. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Or baby shark for those uh -huh. of you that have kids that know baby shark. Right, you baby. Can also yes. Do that beat. Staying yes. alive. <laughs> and so it's different for adults and babies, right? Sort Correct. Of baby. So for infants, so you saw how Mike fell in the center of the chest with his palm. For infants, obviously your hand is considerably bigger. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go with two fingers. You're going to find the center of the chest and you're still going to do 30 and 2, 120 per second. And you're going to do it right in the center of the chest with your two fingers. Mm -hmm. yep. And then you pause at a certain time. Yeah. So if so, again, we're talking about hands only CPR, right? But if it's an infant and you want to perform breaths, you're going to do 30 and 2 and then you're going to tilt the head back. Everyone knows about the uh, head tilt chin lift. Mm -hmm. So something very important with infants, the most fragile part of an infant is the neck area. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to push it all the way back. You just want to slightly tilt it up into the sniffing position mm -hmm. for an infant before you perform breaths. And then for breaths, you just want to puff out your cheeks, just puff them out and give a puff. You don't want to do a full breath into an infant's lungs because you could damage the lungs. Right. Okay. okay? And you know, you, you're applying force and people might oh, be yeah. shocked at how much force, well, first of all, the human body can mm -hmm. take, but you have to get into the chest cavity. Yes, Correct. you do. Correct. You have to get in there. You have to get the two inches deep and um, you may hear and feel things. You know, it's cartilage. You, cartilage breaks, but you know, cartilage heals. Let's keep that in mind. That's right. Let's talk about the AED. Yeah. Okay. The AED is the automated external defibrillator. It's used. They're all over mm -hmm. uh, in shopping malls and theaters. You even have one here at, at the studio. We yep. saw it coming in. Yep. We were excited to see that. So Very easy to use. Um, first thing you do is you want to turn it on. Okay. You want to turn it on and then follow the prompts as far as following the pictures on the pads. Put the pads on the patient. Then you want to go ahead and plug it in. Okay. It's analyzing the rhythm. All right. It's looking for a rhythm for a shock. Okay. Do not touch the patient. It's looking for a rhythm. All right. Mm -hmm. Shock advised. All right, it found no rhythm. It was looking for a shock. It's going to say shock advised. It's charging the pads. Stay clear of patients. Everyone clear, staying clear. Shocking. Deliver shock now. Shock delivered. Shock's mm. delivered. And then you go right back to CPR. CPR. Okay. It's very easy, very self-explanatory. So it's 
user friendly. Just turn it on and follow the prompts. Have you met people? Who oh, absolutely. Have used this and yeah. Have we actually uh, we actually last week saw a guy driving down the road had a sign in the back of his car. This vehicle has an AED on board. Yep. Really? Yeah. That's, That's fantastic. Excellent. You can feel empowered to save somebody's life yeah. and knowing these skills is very essential. Thank you guys for being here. Thank yeah, you very we're much. Super happy to Thank be here. You. Thank, Thank you so you. much. CPR to you, taking 50% off their CPR course. If you take it in the next 90 days, all you have to do is register at cpr 2 u that's a letter u.com, and you can use the promo code KGUN9. For more information, you can give them a call at 520-400-8204.